Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I wanna go ahead and connect to our bank account. Now I'm gonna be connecting to a business checking account that I have with Chase Banks. We're gonna go over here to the right hand side, connect your bank, import transactions for your bank or credit card. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in Chase. If you have Wells Fargo, type in Wells Fargo. If you have Bank of America, type in B of A. Self-explanatory. Okay, matching results. Let's look down here, Chase Bank, that looks accurate. Okay, so you're gonna use your online checking information right here. So I'm going to move the screen away a little bit. Let's type in that bad boy. Let's click login. Okay, so this might take a few minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video. All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so I have two accounts with Chase. One of them is a business account and one of them is just my personal account. I wanna use my business account. Books account type. This is checking in 3090. I'm going to go ahead and click connect. We successfully downloaded your transactions. Hooray. Okay, great. Now let's go back to the bottom right hand corner right here. I'm done. Let's go. Okay, great. So we connected. We have 117 transactions that need our attention. Well, how do we focus on this? We have to go over here to transactions, click on banking, and we'll see right here. The balance for this account is $211. We have 117 transactions that we need to input into QuickBooks, and that total accumulates to $1,490.55. In the next video, we'll go ahead and talk about our expenses and our incomes and we'll how to, how to get rid of this stuff. And for future reference, if you set up the wrong bank account, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna click on this little pencil right here, go to edit account info. Here's your account type. And what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna click this thing, disconnect here on save. So when you click save, it's gonna disconnect this account. I don't wanna do that, but that is how you deactivate that bank account from your QuickBooks Online. All right, guys, hopefully this made sense. Good luck. I'll see you in the next video when we talk about our transactions.